What's up, Spikes? We're back with another episode of the Goliath Gauntlet. Joining me today... Uh, what? That's, that's not what we're doing today. What? Uh, start again, start again. Okay, start okay. Again. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Spikes? We're back. We're starting up a new series where we play Edison Yu-Gi-Oh! We're ready to uh, do so... Where, where do you think we are right now, Bill? <laughs> Bill! Bill! What? What? Do you have your opener? Are you okay? Photo? Where am I? <laughs> we're we're playing commander. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Spikes? Uh, I'm back, and today we're gonna be playing some casual Commander. Uh, I'm just as surprised as you are. Uh, hopefully, people still remember who I am. <laughs> Unlikely. Been, it's been a while. It's been um, three and a half years. It has been three and a half years uh, <laughs> since I've since I've played. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna have a good time. But first, we should uh, do a shout out to our lovely sponsor, Game Genic. Yeah, Game Genic was very generous and came on and sponsored the entire channel. They've got these awesome play mats that we're sitting on. We've got awesome slaves from them. And if you want to get some awesome stuff for yourself, just make sure you go over and follow at GameGenic underscore on Twitter, as well as the Spike Feeders. We do a giveaway every month, and if you want one of those, that's how you win it. And while you're out there following people, uh, Bill, do you want to say just a couple words about where you've huh? been? Uh, well, I've been in the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, the hyperbolic flesh chamber. <laughs> oh, uh, hyperbolic. Oh, yeah, like that. really do not, genuinely do not like that. Uh, I've been mostly playing Flesh and Blood. Uh, we have a sister channel called uh, Spike Feeders Fab. That stands for Flesh and Blood. Uh, it's the game that I really enjoy. True. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fab. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good time. It's uh, highly edited uh, flesh and blood gameplay content. We do something called the Goliath Gauntlet, which I kind of referenced in the uh, the, the gag the, the at the beginning. Skit, yeah. Um, but yeah, you should go check that out if flesh and blood is a game that interests you. Uh, there will be a link in the place in the thing um, up in the, up in the top, I guess. Is how that works <laughs> <laughs> right here. And uh, yeah, you can also find me on Twitter at uh, Bill TSF. Yeah, uh, because that's who I am. Well, let's stop stalling for time. Let's yeah. get into it. Yeah, so Bill's actually going yeah. first today. So I'm too. going first, uh, which is a, a triumphant return, and I'm playing Shieldred the Apocalypse. Uh, this is not a tuned version of any deck that I've ever made whatsoever. Uh, this is just black cards that I already owned and a Shieldred that I pulled at uh, GP Mini. Magic, Magic, Mini. Magic Con. Magic Con yeah, like, Mini. It's been he, that he long. He doesn't even know what they're called. It's been that long. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to just play some cool black cards uh, and drain some life from people. That's my whole game plan. <laughs> awesome possum. Well, my name's Alex, and I'm back again. Today we're going to be playing Kelsey and the Plague. Would you like to ping the one? This deck, if you've seen it before, is all about putting Death Touch on Kelsey and make in Kelsey and real big, controlling the board a little bit, and generally trying to make people uh, point at their friends for me to kill mm. their stuff instead mm. of your stuff. Bargaining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Elliot, uh, and I am not playing um, Britney Spears' 2003 hit song. I am playing the new-ish mechanic from uh, March of the Machine, or the one prior to it. Phyrexia All Will Be One. Uh, Toxic um, oh, is the <laughs> theme that's of my where deck. going with that. <laughs> that was such a long walk. <laughs> Um, I am playing Cecily, Haunted Mage, and Elmar, Ulvenwald, and Formant. They are the universes within versions of Max and Eleven from the um, uh, Stranger Things Secret Lair. They're basically just there for my colors, everything but white, and they both draw cards, asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> They're both pretty bad, um, but yeah, I am a four-color, toxic, kind of combo deck. I'm trying to get everybody to 10 poison counters, and I mostly am using Venerated Rot Priest oh. to do so. So if you want to know about Venerated Rot Priest, we yeah. have another video about that, actually. Potentially inspired by us discovering that combo when the set came out. Impossible to tell, really. <laughs> yeah, who's, who's to say? <laughs> who's to say? Uh, I'm playing a bit of a throwback. It's a throwback that's been updated. I updated a deck. What? You, that's the what? title of the video. We can't decide. Oh. The, the one where Bill comes back or the one where Jim updated yeah. a deck. I don't know which one. <laughs> Neither has happened in four years. <laughs> well, let, let's just film two games. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, yeah, so I used to play this deck a lot. This is like one of my one of my like proto Jim decks. Yeah. Uh, it's NX and Siamede. It's a Boros attack deck. Uh, it's really super low to the ground. And it's kind of a weird mix between like Voltron and Go Wide White Weenies. 
Uh, the idea is I'm going to make a bunch of tokens and cheap creatures and then use Annex and Siamid to buff them and give them trample. Um, so Annex and Siamid, Siamid gets big, the tokens get big, everything gets big. And, and, and we die. And Horrible painful. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. <laughs> More like Texas and Siamid. <laughs> no, Anthrax and Cyanide. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> yeah, Bill's going first. Yep. Yes. Okay, uh, I draw. Yes, that's how that works. Multiplayer game of Magic: The Gathering. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna kick things off. Uh, I'm just gonna play out this swamp and pass the turn over. Sounds good. Draw a card. What's it like to have a? Remember that one? Yeah, yeah. I uh, made that one. <laughs> probably. Here's a new one. Would anyone like to concede? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll take you up on that. Awesome. <laughs> I, got, I got stuff to do. Anyway, <laughs> oh, anyway it's yeah. filming. <laughs> Luxury suite for the turn, and then we actually have a turn one play. Uh oh, everybody hates it. It's basilisk color. Ooh. Oh, okay. No we're, gonna kill, we're gonna kill Alex. Yeah, we really. Yeah, do. yeah, yeah. Pass turn. Draw for a turn. I've also got a turn one play. I have to shock myself for this breeding pool. <laughs> Oof, <do>. So thirty-eight. <laughs> yep. And then I'm playing uh, literal actual all-star birds of paradise. Oh, I don't have a bolt. Good. Please don't. <laughs> I would like you not to. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a mountain. I also have a turn one play. Oh my god. <laughs> You're getting outpaced, William. A Ragavan. <laughs> that I'm card's gonna pass. better than I your whole deck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat? I can't beat that card. Oh, okay. I actually have a turn one play. Oh. Uh, I'm going to play this Arcane Signet and pass. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh where'd you like... get that Arcane Signet, Bill? Uh, oh. Jeep. <laughs> Jeep. Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do my Jeep. Jeep. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll play a Plains as our land for turn. And we'll play out multi-format all-star Mage Rites Stone. One and tap this artifact to untap target creature that has an activated ability with tap in its cost. Uh-oh. Pass the turn. You said tap so many times. Yes. Kelsian's gonna kill birds and Ragavan. Yes. <laughs> I don't have a creature. <laughs> Draw for my turn. Are we actually scared of like just dying? Maybe. Nah, I'm not gonna hit birds. Good. Next turn anyway. He's gonna hit my rag around. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. That one's reasonable, I think. So I'll play a Bloodstained Mire, and I'm gonna fetch down to 37. 37. I'm gonna get a bad lands with my Bloodstained Mire. I can mm. do that, right? Sure. Not, not pulling a Jim LePage here. Oh, uh, you got lands. <laughs> yeah, I got lands and correct lands. That's crazy. Uh, two for my own Arcane Signet. Ooh. Uh, and I'll just pass the turn. Why isn't your Arcane Signet as nice as Bill's? Well, you see, it's because I'm destitute. <laughs> you didn't get that one from your Jeep. <laughs> I'll untap. Draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play... Oh, I should probably just attack. I'm going to attack. Since Alex is going to kill this next turn, Ooh. I will attack Alex with my Ragavan. Go 38. 38. Trigger Ragavan. What happens? Uh, please excel the top card of your library. The top card of my library is Orzon Signet. Oh, that's castable. Cast that. Especially because that's... he doesn't have a second land. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing he is, gets he's a about, token. He's about to get a treasure. Real I know. He gets a treasure token. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Mike the uh... Sod. <laughs> the Sod. Shout dog. out. Wow, he's great. it's for Ragavan and everything. It is. It's on theme. Nice. That's the name of the movie. Uh, I'm going to play a mountain and cast this Wars of Signet. Oh my god, he had the mountain too? Yep. He's so ahead. He never time. didn't have it. Uh, then I'm going to Concede? sack the treasure oh, okay. for a white. And I'm going to tap the Wars of Signet and cast Haunted Library. Ooh, what's that one do? Uh, it's an enchantment, and whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, I can pay one. If I do, create a 1 1 white spirit creature token with flying. Cool. Yeah. And then I'll okay. pass. I'll untap and draw. Uh, I'll play a third swamp. Wow. And uh, I'll tap three and play this Underworld Dreams. Oh, oh no. It begins. Uh, so yeah, whenever an opponent draws a card, uh, it deals one damage to that player. Uh, Alex, any response? Of course not. I, you can like, counter I'm not counterspelling it, but I'm going to draw a card oh, first. Okay. So I'm going to cast this Prologue to Phyresis and start... Uh, my clock. Each opponent will get one poison counter, Ooh. <laughs> and then I will draw a card. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then once I'm done casting, once you're done casting that and I'm done casting this, it's your turn. Right on. We'll untap. We'll upkeep. We'll draw. You'll, You'll lose a life. Lose a life. <laughs> <clears throat> Go to 37. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. You're welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> Play a swamp. And hopefully, to no one's surprise, we will cast Kelsey and the Plague. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, uh, Elliot. <laughs> what? You gonna keep poisoning me? Yeah. I think that's okay. The point. Cool. It's stick to it. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the point of it. Thirty-five. That. Thirty-five and two Kelsey. 
You have to track that. I am. <laughs> and we'll pass turn. Oh my god, it has Vigilance, Haste, oh yeah. my god. And can still ping. Yeah, this card's too good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, draw for turn. It's okay. Well, if that ain't a threat, I don't know what is. A uh, threat would be something like, I'm... Um, Shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am going to cast Evolution Sage. Oh. Whenever a land ETBs under my control, proliferate. Danger alert. Aha. Uh -huh. I'd like to play a land. It's a waterlogged grove. I would like all of my opponents to have two poison counters. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's not great for us. Uh-huh. 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 That is all I'm doing for now, though, which probably means my evolution sage is dying. I'm just going to pass the turn, but I actually didn't take a damage off of drawing my card for the turn. Yep. For Underworld Dream, so I'm at 34. That's my bad. Cool. Uh, yeah, you have to keep track of that. Yeah. Yeah. You're out of practice. <laughs> well, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I'll untap. I will draw a card, take a damage. Yeah. Or lose a life? Uh, take take a damage. damage. Oh, it is take a damage. Yeah. You 39. can give yourself uh, protection? Uh, I'm going to pay one. Yeah. And cast a soul ring. Ooh. Oh. Oh, must be nice. Then I'm going to tap the soul ring. Yeah. Uh, so I have um, colorless white, white black. Colorless white black floating. Then I'm going to tap a red. Mm -hmm. I will spend white red to cast Cole the Forge Master. White colorless floating? Yeah. Uh, no, black. Sorry, black, black colorless, colorless. flooding. I yep. will use the black to cast Skull Clamp. <gasps> oh no. This isn't Clamper. good. Yeah, this is a, a kind of a combo. Yeah. Clamp Storm? It's not Clamp Storm. It's no. not. It's not <laughs> Underworld Dreams. Oh, oh true. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I have true. no effects to that's Skull good. Clamp. Yep. yep. No. Yep. Okay, I'll use the colorless to equip Skull Clamp to Ragavan. Yep. Uh, in response. Okay. Yeah, yes. I will kill Ragavan. Really doing that? Yes, really. Not the Evolution Sage. He can He's gonna Easter. untap and give it death touch times. and then kill yeah. it. It's a weird hill to die on, but <laughs> well, at I least can't, you're dead. I can't kill it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can only go one to it, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, down. Ragavan down. I'm gonna take a little experience tracker right here. Boop. Okay, right. and then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Uh, I will untap and draw opponents only. So I'll, uh, hey, Alex. <laughs> What's up? That card says opponents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a thing uh, in preparation for Jim potentially comboing. Well, he's it's not, not a combo. Yeah, it's not a combo. Yeah, no I'm, combos ju I'm just saying, you want to draw cards. Ooh. I would like you to not draw cards as much. I'm still going to draw them. Yeah. Feel I guess the, the tough thing is if I cast this, then he can just do the thing. Yep. But um, so many things he's to got kill now. so many. He's got so many things to kill. Yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass. We have to give him tons of options so yeah. that we mm -hmm. don't lose all of them. Sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna untap. We're gonna upkeep. We're gonna draw. You take a damage and lose two life. Oh my That's god. Thirty four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Getting bolted on my upkeep. <laughs> Play a planes. We're gonna start the turn off by tapping two for Basilisk Collar onto Kelsey and the Plagua. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Plagway. The Plagway. Yeah, this checks out. It checks out? Unfortunately. Okay, we're going to move to Declare Attacks, and we're going to retain priority in Declare Attacks by attacking Elliot, tapping Kelsian to kill Evolution Change. Dead thing. So we'll get a second experience counter. Oh, it's coming in for four. Coming in for four. Uh, taking four down to 30. And up to six. Commander, and I gain four life. Oh my god, it gives Six. life link oh to 38. Oh my god, he's countering Bill's plan and Jim's plan. I'm yeah. really trying to. <laughs> um, just for the avoidance of surprise, we will use Mage Right Stone to untap Kelsian. Fair. Reasonable. To Pass turn. Now. Yeah, makes, makes reasonable sense. Untap. Yes. Draw for turn. Yes. This was a good choice. I've got... Um, cards that create token copies in my hand. Mm. Uh, it was it was it was gonna get out of hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's for true. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> oh, you say you I, lose. Uh, yeah. Take a damage and lose three life. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah. You have to keep track. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get a chance to do much this game. I don't think. Well, at some point, Bill and I will become threats, and then <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't only focus you. Yeah. Five. I'm gonna start with focusing. <laughs> Like, I think I just, like, play out my Cecily and hope that he just lets me draw a card next turn. <laughs> um, uh, let me put this way. Unless you play, like, exactly Venerated Rock Priest right now, I've got other targets. Right, but I've got, like, some, some big fat fatties that... I'll tell, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. You want to make a deal? Sure. Let's make it. Where's you, Wayne Brady? You, you don't proliferate me or add poison counters to me. Oh. 
for the next two turns. Oh. I don't shoot any of your things oh. for the next two turns. If you agree to that deal, I'm going to focus on you. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not you take that deal, I'm going to keep doing yes. this. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll, we'll put that deal on the back burner because so, I just got vaguely threatened by my father. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm going to lose a grow? life to this waterlogged grove. Sounds good. 26, 26, 26 just yeah. in an absolute free fall. I will play this Talisman of Curiosity. Ooh. Gotta Curious. keep Rampus Bampus. Uh, we've got a blue, we've got a black, we've got a red, and we've got a colorless. I will cast Cecily, comma, Haunted Mage. Mm. This is a 3-5. Um, for no reason at all, my maximum hand size is now 11. It's not a reference. Yeah, weird. Um, and then whenever it attacks, I draw a card and lose a life. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I have 11 or more cards in my hand, I may cast an instant or sorcery from my hand mm. without paying its mana cost. That mm. part's probably not coming up. I'm probably dying before I get to 11 <laughs> cards. I mean, it would only cost you 44 life. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I will pass after playing my 3-5. My it's a 3-5. Block. Okay. I'll untap. Block. <laughs> oh. Friends, Roman's countrymen, I just mm. remembered that I dealt one damage with a thing that had lifelink, so I'm going to go ahead and gain one more life. Oh, of course. Oh, Sorry, oh, true. Oh, of course. I'm yeah. going to go to 39. 39. Oh my god, he's out of reach. And uh, conversely, I will draw a card <laughs> and lose them to 36. I'm going to play Mountain. I am going to tap three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a Cursed Mirror. Ooh. I've got an Arcane Signet. Bill's got an Arcane Signet. I'm like, making it a bird. Okay. Ooh. Bird. Then bird has haste. I will activate Orzhov Signet. Mm -hmm. Black white. Black white. Uh, I'll add a red to it and cast my commander. Ooh. Yup. Scary. And I'm going to tap a red and equip Skull Clamp to my commander. It is a four-one four first one strike. First strike vigilance. Yeah. Seems, uh, unkillable in combat. I'll pass it. <laughs> I'll untap before you draw. Yes. Ooh, upkeep. I would like to kill shield. Extremely rude. Uh, but, yes. And I'll gain another. Probably fine. And a life. Go to 40. Wow. Back to 40? Now Alex I will threat. draw a card. Oh, yeah. That's that's big true. Uh, I'm going to play Castle Lockthwain as oh. my land for the turn. That card's so uh, good. the battlefield tapped unless I control a swamp, which I do four times. Does that mean it untaps yeah, four, four untapped times? Yeah. yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Killing Shieldred was. Objectively the correct play because I want to do this and I'm going to do it. I'm going to tap Arcane Signet, Castle Lockwain, and these two for Teferi's Puzzle Box. <gasps> <laughs> oh, we were dead. <laughs> And We're then, still not very good. That's yeah, Underworld, Underworld Dream. Dream is still in play. And then I'm just going to pass the turn. All right, that's, so that's an upkeep. I do what again? Uh, at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player right. puts the cards in his or her hand on the bottom of his or her library in any order, then draws that many cards. So draw, and loses draw them first, then this. Yeah. So draw first, then yeah, do so this. So you untap, upkeep. Upkeep. And draw. And now draw. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So you draw, you draw lose a card, life. Then Teferi's um, trigger. 39. 39. Puzzle box trigger. So I put all six of these on the um, bottom. On the bottom, and then draw that many cards. Yes. In a random order, or? I could, I uh, could In any order. Any order. Yeah, you can choose. I'll so get my hand ready in the order that six. I want. Six. <laughs> so now I take six damage. Yeah, yes. you draw six, lose six. 30. 33! <laughs> Imagine drawing six, losing uh, 24. 18. Yeah. 24. No, three. Underworld Dreams plus the, oh. plus the shoulder. Mm. Mm. Yeah, three. Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, still a lot. We'll play this Forbidden Orchard. Pay one, two, three for Blood Cultist. Blood Cultist says, deals one damage to target creature on a ping on a 1-1 one, one that says, whenever a creature dealt damage by Blood Cultist this turn is put into a graveyard, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Blood Cultist. Hmm. Sort of like a mini little Kelsian. Yeah, it's yeah. like a Kelsian. Teensy tiny Kelsian. <laughs> yeah. Elliot! Hello? Are you holding priority and declare attacker? I am not. No blocks. Take five. <laughs> Take five. 21. 21. 11 commander. And, and I go to 38. I will untap. Uh, upkeep. <clears throat> What's in the box? <laughs> no, upkeep. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, draw. draw. Yeah. 20. What's in the box? <laughs> 20. Oh, this card's good, though. Yeah, okay. It'll be really good on the bottom. Say goodbye it to is Italia. instant, but it's not very good. So, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> to the bottom. Well, Go to this 15. card's good. Is it an instant? It is an instant, but it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Like to cast it right now, <laughs> you know. Listen, Elliot, I don't care what you meant. <laughs> I'm, drawing, I'm drawing five. I'm going to fifteen. Alrighty, I'm going to combat. Sure. 
I'm declaring an attack at William. Oh. Trigger Cecily Haunted Mage. Sure. So draw a card, lose, lose a life, and then life. lose a life. <laughs> yeah. Go to 13 real quick here. Three. Uh, yeah, I have no blocks, so oh, that's commander damage. Don't forget. I yeah, will not be keeping track. You have to track. I that. will not be. You have to track that. I will not be. Um, so I will play this nurturing peatland, mm -hmm. my good friend peatland, <laughs> uh, and I will play pay blue red. Just for it's just it's just no big deal. Just a third path iconoclast. Um, whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I make a one-one oh. colorless soldier artifact creature token. Mm. Nothing happening here. Mm. There's something happening. Okay, I'll untap. I will draw a card. Lose a life. Lose a life. And then I'm going to put three on the bottom. Go to 32. 32. Well, hang on. He hasn't drawn three yet. Oh. Careful, Jim. He was careful. New sleeves. <laughs> draw three. One, two, three. 32. Oh, it's funny. I had a handful of white cards before, and now I have a handful of planes with which to cast them, but no more white cards. <laughs> Duh. It's like selling my hairbrush <laughs> to buy a wig or... I don't know what you're scorpion, trying to get. The scorpion always stings the frog. Exactly. Yeah. The scorpion stung my hairbrush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am going to play a planes. Oh, yes, uh, he told us about that. Yeah, derived information. <laughs> he, we derived it from the fact that he told us. Go for yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to cast Crown of Flames, targeting Annex and Siamid, trigger heroic. What does... That it's do? an enchantment that gives it fire breathing, and it has an activated ability that allows me to return it to my hand for one red. And the heroic trigger gives it plus one plus one and trample. So you could foreseeably cast it multiple times this turn. He can cast Potentially. It. You can cast it like two uh, more times, one more time. Bounce, play. Is, yeah. it, is it worth blowing up, do we think? You could always uh, wait until he attacks. That's a good point. Because he might not attack He's me. probably going to attack me. Yeah, that's good. I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Resolves. Combat. Mm -hmm. I will attack Alex for mm -hmm. five. All right. With first strike and trample. Mm -hmm. Oofta doofta. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what we're going to do in response mm -hmm. is we are going to in declare text, ping, and next side. I'd like to respond. Yes. By. Activating Crown of Flames to return it to my hand. Sure. Okay. Crown of Flames back to my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, the ping resolves. Okay. Annex and Siamid down. Gain a life. Uh, trigger Cole's trigger Skull Clan. And what's Cole's trigger? Cole returns Annex and Siamid to my hand. Yeah, uh, whenever another non token creature dies. If it was uh, enchanted or equipped, yeah. returning to its own yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right on. I'll get another experience mm -hmm. card. And I'll draw two cards and, and lose, lose two, two life. life. Uh, <laughs> 30. 30. It's just a sign and blood. That's a playable card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. He's convoking. To cast Wildfire Awakener. Was X equals four. It's a 3 2 with convoke. When Wildfire Awakener ETBs create X 1 1 red elemental creature tokens with, whenever this creature becomes tapped, it deals one damage to target player. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, four of these elementals, and just remember that when they tap, I can deal one damage to target player. Yeah, yes, seems good. Yes. yes. I am now tapped out, so I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to untap, upkeep, uh, draw, trigger Teferi's Puzzle Box. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Underworld Dreams does not trigger because I am not my own opponent. Oh, it says opponents. Yeah, so opponents. I'll just uh, draw five new cards. Uh, I'm going to play this Swamp yep. as my land for the turn. Mm -hmm. Then uh, one, two, three, four, I would like to play this Cryptgast. Ooh. Crypty boy. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Cryptyman. Then uh, one, two, three, four, and extort, I suppose. Uh, I'll have one floating after this. I would like to cast this Court of Ambition, and I would like to become the Monarch! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Be careful. It did recently break again. <laughs> My head is very small. <laughs> okay, uh, so I become the Monarch when this enters the battlefield. Extort first. Extort oh, first. Oh yes, we each so. lose a life. And then at the beginning of my upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. If I'm the monarch, instead they lose six life unless they discard two cards. Right. Uh, <laughs> then I would like to pass the turn and draw a card from the monarch. During your end step, yes. I would like to pay one mm -hmm. to activate Mage Right Stone, mm -hmm. to untap Kelsey and the Plague, mm -hmm. to ping your Cryptcast. That's fine. It did its job. 
<sighs> we gotta kill this Magrite stone. Yeah, and or this, the Kelsian, and the Kelsian, or probably. like something, anything. Yeah, y'all really gotta remove my thing that's removing all your stuff. <laughs> and we'll draw a card. Now we gotta do a thing. Yes. So we lose a life. So you lose 30. a life. Yeah, so you draw a card, you lose a life. 30. 30. Oh no. You gained a life. Yes. So, right. so you're, you're back still at, at 38. <laughs> yeah. 30. Now how many cards do you have? Five. Put them on the bottom. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And you go to 33. I'm Correct. so happy to be back. <laughs> <laughs> the editor does not like you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll play this command tower. In first main phase, we're gonna pay two for Gorgon Flail. It's a plus one, plus one equipment that also grants death touch. More death touch. Speaking Additional of more death touch, touch, play that same song. Uh, we're going to put that on oh. Blood Cultist. Yeah, given that, death touch is pretty good. Pretty he's, good. he's got two of them. <laughs> he's, now they're... Uh, <laughs> now they're <laughs> two of them. <laughs> you stopped 60% of the way through both of those jokes. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to attack Bill for seven. Yep. You uh, are the Monarch. Are we going to like... Pause society for an entire day while I do this. Shut up. <laughs> no commentary in my <laughs> gameplay. Yeah. I got one of those toonies that's colored black. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, they the mint did a series of toonies oh. that have that like black. in memoriam yeah, or something. Yeah, we so. still have physical money. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Old people do. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got this chain for buying girl guide cookies. <laughs> <laughs> A noble cause. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to move to our end step. Draw a card for being the monarch and pass the turn. And take damage to life. Ah, yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Lose a life. 39 again. Holy ah. smokes. Okay. Uh, I think I have some effects in your end step, potentially. Can you Green, imagine? colorless. I'm going to cast Infectious Bite. Mm. It will target my Cecily. Target creature I control deals damage equal to its power to target creature I don't control. Each opponent gets a poison counter. It'll it'll target Cecily and both of his things have death touch, so it like just sucks. Um, the cultist. All right, so you got a third path iconoclast trigger too. I do. I'm gonna make a, a little artifacty boy. All right, we'll let that resolve, and then in response to an infectious spike, because blood cultist is going to die regardless, we are going to infect ping. Cecily, with we are going touch. to infect Ping. Cecily. Whoa! Infect Ping. Oh. I've got a I've got a kooky little play to make here. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm taking a million damage again because this is blue, blue and black <laughs> going down to ten. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to cackling counterpart, <laughs> copying Cecily Haunted Mage. <laughs> I have a second third path iconoclast trigger. Mm -hmm. um, the cackling counterpart is going to make uh, a token copy of Cecily. And then state-based actions, I'll have the real Cecily die. <laughs> okay, so no trigger for yeah. blood cultist. Right. And then we think we looked this up correctly. My infectious bite is using last known information, so your blood cultist still takes three. Yes. And each opponent will get a poison counter. Oh. Yes. That's very important for me because there's a lot of like the new cards in the set that are like it, for opponents that have three. So this 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 is good. Um, I don't. I don't feel so good. I don't feel. <laughs> Tony Stark, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tony Stark, who I'm learns from his that. mistakes. <laughs> so I draw for my turn. I yeah. lose a life. Yeah. I'm down to nine. Yeah. And then you put three cards on the bottom. <laughs> and I put these three cards on the bottom. Go to six. six. <laughs> I gotta be honest. This Underworld Dreams is doing some uh, doing some work. Well, yeah. it didn't help that you attacked me for a million. Oh, stop well, poisoning me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm at six. I'm gonna go to combat. Good luck. I'm going to attack Bill. What? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm doing everybody a favor here. Just keep that in mind. What? My, my Cecily is a three five, so one two. Uh, I should leave a soldier. Nah, I'm I'm not a coward. One <laughs> two, three four five six seven. Go to 26. I also, sorry, do have an attack trigger with Cecily. Draw a card, lose a life. Which yeah, is actually five two. Five. Uh, I'm actually at four. I lose oh. two life. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Very pog. Dead, have, dead on your draw step? Having a good time. <laughs> having a good time. <laughs> Play this basic forest. Oh, not dead on. Oh, still drawing on draw step. <laughs> four mana. I've got a Zada Hedron Grinder. Cool. So whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Zada, Hedron, Grinder, copy that spell for each other creature I control that the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those creatures. You know what you should do? Mm. You should cast a single target cantrip. Oh! In infectious Bite. Yeah! <laughs> that is actually kind of the point of this deck. Mm. Uh, I didn't see any of them this game, mm. but yeah, it plays like Slip Through Space, Crimson Wisps, all those things yep. with like these dorks, this dork, and then Venerated Rot Priest. Um, but I would be doing a lot of dying right now, because oh. considering I'm at... Um, 
Yeah, for life. Yeah, all I'm saying. <laughs> all I'm saying. That's you. <laughs> Any effects to Zada? No. Uh, no. You got it. Pass. Okay. I'll untap. I will draw a card, take a damage, go to 28. I or will bottom. put five cards on the bottom. One of them is my commander. Once they hit the bottom, state-based actions. Actually, I draw the cards first. Then state Because it's part of the ability. Mm -hmm. I'll draw five <laughs> cards. Uh, and then state-based actions get checked before I get priority, and I'll send Annex and to the command zone. And you go to 23. Yes. And I go to <sighs> 23. I'm going to play up planes as my land for turn. Then I'm going to tap three and cast Bergy, God of Storytelling. Oh, good golly gosh. It's good. I'm tapping. Yeah, uh, creatures that I control can now boast twice instead of once. On oh, oh, no way! Oh my god! <laughs> they got yeah, stories. That, that, that's the relevant text on that card. <laughs> they yeah. can boast. I would like to tap uh, my Orzov Signet to mm -hmm. add a white and a black. Yes, you may. I'm going to use the black to equip Skull Clamp to Bergy. In response. Mm -hmm. I Let's will kill Bergy. I would like to respond. Please oh. do. I'm going to use my white floating. Yes. Along with this white to cast Bathe in Light, targeting Bergy. What's the new color? Choose a color, target creature, and each other creature that shares a color with it gain protection from the chosen color until end of turn. Well, I will that, choose black. Uh, well, it's not resolving yet. Okay, bathe mm. in light. Mm. Yeah. Uh, trigger Bergy, I'll make a red. Yeah, you got a red. Mm. Uh, what I'll do is I'll tap Forbidden Orchard, giving Elliot a spirit. Not me. Oh, I like spirit. And then what we'll do is we'll tap Mage Rite Stone, activating mm -hmm. it to untap Kelsian. Okay. Tough. Go for it. Kelsian mm. untaps and then retaps to kill Bergy. Sure. Mm. Okay. Uh, then we'll put an extra. You don't have priority. Experience counter on. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes, and, and we'll gain life. life. Okay. Go to forty. Forty. There we go. Forty. Holy smokes! I am going to use the red to equip Skull Clamp to Wildfire Awakener. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to move to combat. Yes. Sorry, no. I'm going to equip one of the tokens mm -hmm. with Skull mm -hmm. Clamp. Okie dokie. Uh, so it, no, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't die. It does not because it gets plus Ooh. one plus one from the okay. coal okay. for yes. being equipped. Okay, so the uh, copy is equipped yep. with skull clamp. I will then move to combat. Yes, and I'd like to declare attacks at Alex. Yeah, for these three. Yep. Uh, so this is three damage. Uh, sorry, these trigger. Yep. I'll deal four damage to your dome. Thirty-six. And then I've got attacks coming in for this is six, seven. Uh, eight. This guy Sorry. is yes. one, two, three. Yeah. Yes, right. So three, so three four, five, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. <laughs> Twenty or... Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, there we go. Yeah. Uh, then I think I'm just going to pass to Bill. Okay. Oh. 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 Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. Pass In, to Bill. Importante. And draw, draw hard. Hard. Lose life. Lose life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to untap. During my upkeep, I have a trigger, Court of Ambition. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. Uh, invasion of Ikoria down. <laughs> Royal Assassin. I discard need somebody to kill this puzzle ox. <laughs> discard Mark of Fury. Mark of Fury. Hey, listen, I'm playing black. I cannot destroy my own puzzle yeah, box. Yeah, either the puzzle box, actually, probably more the Underworld Dreams. Yeah. yeah. You don't have a but Mark of Plier in there? What? Got Mark, a... Mark of Plier. Mark of Plier, YouTuber. Oh wait, you're old, I forgot. Yeah, he, makes, he makes YouTube videos. I'm gonna draw a card and Freddy then Fazbear. Box. Is he related to Hank Green? Yep. Oh, oh. close. Uh, I'm gonna draw four cards. Do you lose four life? No. Oh. Wait, is Hank Green related to John Steven Green? John Green? Oh, not Steven, Steven Green. Green. No. Well, Esteban. maybe. Uh, play a Swamp. You know, I'm gonna play Ayara, first of Lock Land. <laughs> oh. uh, so whenever she or another black creature enters the battlefield under my control, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Oh, so I'll go to 27. God. I go to 3. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap 5 and play the Scourge Familiar. Well, that's trigger a good one. Ayara. And uh, trigger Ayara. I'll go to 2. 28. And then I'll just pass the turn. Okie dokie. We'll untap. In our upkeep, we have no effects. We'll go to our draw step. We'll draw 1 and we'll lose a life. Mm -hmm. 24. Then we'll go to 20. Uh, you got 4 cards? Yep. We've brought Alex down to a reasonable life. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm working on it. I need somebody to kill this Underworld Dream or I'm just dead, by the way. Oh yeah, that's not happening. Oh, should I put... <laughs> I'm going to protect it. Elliot, should I put this game away? I'm going to protect it. Please, yeah, sure. Okay. Alrighty, we're going to tap 1-2 for Fighter Class. When Fighter Class enters the battlefield, search my library for an equipment card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. I choose Class. Fight or Fight Class. Or class. <laughs> I have no effects. 
Sure, I'm, a, I'm a tapped out black deck. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, you sure are. Yeah. So we're going to grab these Swift Foot Boots off of Fighter Class, mm. and then we're going to go ahead and cast Swift Foot Boots. No, I chose Class. Swift Foot Boats. Swift yeah. Foot Boats. <laughs> Careful. Swift Foot Yeah. Boots. Anyway, Swift Foot Boots onto Kelsian, yeah. please. Unfortunately, no effects. Yeah. Sounds exactly. good. First main phase, we'll play Blight Step Pathway in Blight Step. Uh, <laughs> I, I tap my. <laughs> I choose glass. <laughs> I choose step. I also, I also choose this guy's wife. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a deep cut. That's a good one. All right. Speaking of deep cuts, we're going to go Forbidden Orchard, giving Elliot another spirit. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. To cast Arcane Signet. Oh. Yep. Uh, at this point in time, I would like to announce that in my main phase, I will use Kelsey and the Plagua to ping Cole the Forge Master. Uh, yeah, not much I can do about that. Rude. 21. Dead thing. 21. Go to 7, Kelsian Experience. Use so experienced. Arcane Signet and Mage Rite Stone to untapped Kelsian. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I got like, the right boots, not the shroud ones. Could <laughs> I please go to attacks? You may. Go yeah, I would ahead. please go to the part where I deal 9 damage to Jim. Sure, take 9. Holy smokes. Go to 19, or go to 11. Then I can take the crown, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's the impact. Oh, okay. I that. Man. So we'll move to end step. I will draw a card. I have mm. an effect in your end step mm. okay. to, God, hopefully keep myself from dying because mm. I am at two life. Mm -hmm. I have an instant. Okay. It is a Gaia's gift. What does that do? I'm going to target Zada and trigger third path iconoclast. It's going to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature I control and have it gain reach, trample, hexproof, and indestructible until end of turn. But it's going to be every For creature. <laughs> yeah, sure. I assume you want to trigger third path first? Yes. Okay. Mm. So I've got Gaia's Gift on the stack targeting Zada. Trigger. Trigger. That is yep. the stack. Mm. Yep. yep. F6. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will make a soldier, uh, give everything that I control a plus one plus one counter. I'm going to do that like this because it probably doesn't matter. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to untap. Yep. I'm going to draw and if it is not an instant, I lose the game. Mm. I will draw at my end step. Oh, yes. yes sorry. I totally. cut you off for yeah. that. We play a lot of instants. Let's go. I'm going to draw a card and go to one life and cast this Urborg oh. goes to the bottom. I draw a card and I die. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. The card I drew was Mirrorwing Dragon, Ooh. also known as also not an Zada two point <laughs> Zada number five. <laughs> Ladies I and gentlemen, die. Zada, Zada number five. <laughs> okay. End of Elliot's turn. Any uh, oh, yes. actions, responses? Me, me go to dead times. Nope. Good to go. Okay. Uh, I will untap. No, I had fun anyway. That's good. I made a copy of Cecily. That was cool. Yeah. I will draw a card. I watched that happen. Go to 10. Then I will put three on the bottom. Draw three. Go to seven. Play a Plains as my land for turn. Deck. This is going to eat removal. Oh boy. But I got to cast it or yep. it's not going to be in my hand next turn. Yep. I would like to cast Rick, Steadfast <gasps> Leader. Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Oh. Rick <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It resolves. I got no effects. I will choose first strike. Uh, sorry, vigilance and lifelink. That seems good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's humans you control. Humans. Humans. Human. And Rick doesn't have a. Uh... Doesn't have the plus two plus two. Mm, cool, cool. I will then move to combat. Yeah. Oh, this elemental is dead. Why? And has been for from, a while. From call. Call. Oh, the call it's not from call anymore. Oh, okay. So how do we want to resolve this? Okay. We just resolve this uh, call. Line? We just re re realized it now. So yeah, yeah. that's know. a good call. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's just yeah. Let's just have him have, have him it die. die. Draw right now. Draw two cards. Yeah. Lose two life. Yeah. It's functionally similar, right? It's it, it's not, yeah. but yeah. It's, I, it's not much we, we can do. Nobody now. noticed until yeah. Right. You go to five. So on YouTube comments, shut up. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Not YouTube comments, thank you so much for keeping us honest. Uh, I would like to then cast Sardian Avenger. Yeah. <laughs> My sardines! Uh, Colossus of sardines! <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I'm going to move to combat, and I will... I'm going to equip the Skull Clamp. Okay. To Rick. Oh. Actually, maybe the guy with lifelink is a good idea. You do be at five. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Take it from a guy who knows. Dying? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> lifelink. I would like to move to combat. Yeah. Uh, I will attack Alex with two of my three elementals and my Wildfire Awakener, which has Vigilance. Okay. Uh, these trigger when they tap, 
Mm -hmm. And I'll deal two damage to Bill. Ooh. Okay. Get wrecked, Bill. 26. That goes to 26. Okay. And uh, Alex, you have got... That's four, five, six coming at you. All right. I will block the Wildfire Awakener with Kelsian. Okay. So I'll take two, gain nine for a total swing of plus seven to 36. 36. And when this deals damage, I'll gain four. Go to nine. Uh, and the, and the Awakener, Wildfire Awakener dies. And you draw two I cards draw and lose two cards life. and lose two life going to seven. Oh my goodness. Probably just have to cast this oh. so that I draw fewer cards. Oh. 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 So, so that I draw fewer <laughs> cards. <laughs> he says, taking the Monarch. I would like to equip the Skull Clamp to Rick. Rick. And I will pass the turn. Drawing a card off the Monarch and taking a damage going to six. Holy smokes. Okay. I'll uh, untap. Uh, upkeep, trigger, court of ambition. Lose three life or discard a card, please. I will discard this Volshock Sorcerer. Makes sense. I'll discard a Mountain. Okay. Uh, then I will draw and puzzle box. Puzzle box. That's good. Those were both swamps. I'm going to start this turn by discarding this Mind Stone to Scourge Familiar to add a black. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to tap Iara to sack the Scourge Familiar to draw a card. Okay. Yeah, let's just do some damage to you, I guess. Uh, so one, two. I, ha I have one yeah, black floating. floating. So two. we're going to go. One, this is two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Scourge Familiar yes. dying yes. triggers Haunted Library, and I'm going to pay the one to make a spirit. You got it. Whoa. Uh, With flying? Yes. I'm going Broken. to Damnable Pact Alex for seven. Uh, so you're going to draw seven cards and lose 14 life. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Go to uh, 22. 22. Two. Uh, I'm done, so pass the turn. Uh, in your end step, we will blow up Ayara. She does? Reasonable. Gain a life. Uh, Go to 23. 23. Move to untap. Mm -hmm. Go to eight. You draw. Draw a card. Uh, you lose, lose a life. 22. Back to 22. <laughs> nine to the bottom. Oh, draw nine. Nine to the bottom. Nine to the dome. Uh, He's 13. down to 13. We haven't gotten him to low life totals a bunch of times this game, though. Yes. <laughs> he has a big thing. Yeah. So that's the tough part. And now he also has a bunch of cards in hand. <laughs> but hopefully... You know? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> How many blockers you got there, Jim? One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to start with uh, spectator seating. Unless either of you want to concede to have it enter tapped. Tempting. Jim's like, am I just dead anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'd be lying. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will then move to combat. Mm. I will swing for 10 at uh, Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any effects? Uh, no. In declare blockers after bl no blockers are declared. We'll tap for white and red mm. to Boros Sorry. Charm. Oh. Target creature gains double strike. Double strike. Yes. Oh, take please 20. take twenty. Take, uh, yeah, because that's lethal. That is lethal. Yeah. Uh, you go lethal to six, but you go to twenty-seven. Yeah. Um, commander damage. Uh, Kelsian yeah. damage, and Alex goes back up to thirty-three. <laughs> I'll go to thirty-three. Uh, then in my post-combat main phase, uh, Jim, you said you had uh, six creatures. I have six creatures. Yeah, and you have six life. Yes. I would like to demonstrate a Rakdos charm. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hang on. Oh. Do I have a way to kill oh. creatures? Hang on. You might. Huh? Huh? Do I? Don't. I don't. You don't? <laughs> don't. All right. Good oh, game. Holy smokes. Woofa, was doofa. it? The, was the it charm, charm charm finish is. Yeah. Drawing into charm it, charm it, finish was. Well, crazy. he did make you draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, right? but yeah, like. That was. Gone to seven. I, I think I remember, I don't know that it was filmed here, but I played a game online sometime a year and a bit ago where I also started Kelsian with Basilisk Collar. Yeah. And they also did not remove Kelsian. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Let me tell you, you can't do that. It was, this is very much a player removal deck and not a creature removal yeah. deck. Yeah, no It kidding. was maybe correct for me to for me to draw the cards. Yeah. Um, right. But also... But by the time the hex proofs on it, what do you I don't do? think so. It wouldn't yeah. have made a difference, right? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's um, an equally good chance I just brick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brick, steadfast leader. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, like, I think I maybe shouldn't have run out the Evolution Sage when I did mm -hmm. because I had the, uh, it wasn't actually the Cackling Counterpart. I threw, I drew three different um, token copy cards that game. And so I could have 
like left up, play the sage, proliferate mm. the one time, and then leave up, like making a copy of it in response to you uh, trying to kill it, like one of the times around. But you right. had the mage right stone right. too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like uh, my deck is kind of all about uh, like one or two creatures or a bunch of creatures and yeah. a drawing card. So this was maybe not the table to <laughs> yeah. bring uh, this deck into. Well, but... see, I don't know, because my, my deck is also very much a go-wide deck, right. right? So, like, I feel like two go-wide decks at the table is a steep steep uh, hill to climb for oh, Alex. Yeah, like, he, even with two pings, y'all were still building Yeah, I feel like Alex was kind of holding on by his fingernails, despite being pretty threatening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, that uh, Boros X Convoke creature mm -hmm. is oh. kind of incredible. Oh no, yeah, that card's crazy. It is the perfect card for this yeah. deck. Um, Especially if you bounce it and then use the elemental. So I was cast going to with Coal and Skull Clamp. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But yeah, I had other stuff I gotta do, you know? Yeah. Uh, one thing to mention that we may or may not have screwed up, I don't remember. Uh, proliferate actually proliferates all the counters on a player or permanent. Right. And so if you wrote our YouTube comment to that effect, yes, we do know, but we didn't remember it until later. I can't remember if it yeah. would have mattered with me and yeah, the experience we, counter. Yeah, we think it didn't, but it might have added one, which would have changed the game a little, but I, I don't think not, too much. Not in not a substantial Yeah, right? Like you yeah. would have killed Bill with... 29 uh, uh, say, I would have had, damage instead or yeah, something? Yeah, I would have had like five more life. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I really like the shield red pile you've put together. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I mean, I just drew into the things that did stuff, yeah. uh, which is not something that always happens, but when it does, Ooh boy! <laughs> yeah, threw out a lot of damage here. Yeah. A lot of life loss this game. I also have Infernal Sovereign. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's cool. Well, shout out to our Infernal Sovereign, but actually they're pretty great. It's Gamegenic! Our good friends at Gamegenic sponsor the whole channel, and we're really happy to have them. Uh, if you want to check out Gamegenic products, you should check out your local game store. They almost certainly have them, and if they don't, ask for them because they are some of the best products on the market. Even the professor agrees, and Lord knows he's never wrong. So if you want to do that, please, it helps us out, helps you out, helps everybody out, and you're going to see some messages about our patrons. If you want to check that out, just go to patreon.com slash the spike feeder. Sign up for as little as one dollar! You can help the Discord. That's true. Mm -hmm. You can sure. tell Bill cards he should be playing in a Shieldred deck that he can ignore. Yeah, yeah. you can <laughs> add him and pick him as much as you want. But in the meantime, folks, we hope you have a great day.